All right. Just getting ready to head out here. Yeah, it should be a beautiful tour. We're going to be going up and through the canals here. See a couple of water taxi boats over there. Right downtown here, Fort Lauderdale. So your parking is going to be over there in that green building. That's going to be the parking. Then you just walk over from the green building. You go from the green building, you just walk over, come along here. You'll have somebody to greet you in this place right here. Then you get on the boat up front here. Really easily done. Really easily done. Now up ahead of us we'll see a beach. This beach was not always here. This beach actually named after the lady who created it, Wilma. Wilma Beach, named after Hurricane Wilma blew in and blew all this sand up here. These people weren't too happy about that either because they had deep water dockage. Around the corner, as we go, you'll see some of the docks still here as we turn the corner, way up there towards the bridge, no boats at the docks. That's because at low tide, they're high and dry. It'll be sand number. So uh, they inquired to the Corps of Engineers to get this dredged out of here. They told them it would be approximately $1 million per house. You can see the sand is right where it was. By the way, let me tell you how deep it drops off. See the beach? See us? It's 45 feet right here. This is Steve Wynn's boat. Steve Wynn went casinos and resorts. This boat is 301 feet long. Three years ago he built it. $225 million. So there's some of your money. You might have bought that railing on there. You might have bought the railing. <laughs> Aquarius built by Fed Ship, top of the line yacht builder. Now, if you'd like to charter out the Aquarius like you can any super yacht, no matter who owns it, it'll cost you $1.3 million for the week for you and 17 of your friends. It holds 18 people. Now, that you also have to pay the expenses. Which, which one is Steve? Right here. Why went the Right here. Why yeah. went? This one right here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yep, Steve Wynn. Yep. Then, now on top of that, you have to fill it up with $400,000 worth of fuel for the week. Then you have to pay your 20 person captain and crew. And it looks like the chef there, too. Anyway, you got to pay them, and then you got to tip them at the end. And then you got to bring your own food for them to serve back to you. You got to pay for that. Then. $225 million for that boat. Steve Wynn, Las Vegas. Steven Spielberg brings his seven seas in here. It's almost as big, too. His is slightly cheaper if you want that one. It's $1.2 million plus expenses. You'll save $100,000. Over to your right, here comes Pier 66 Hotel and Marina. This location was once owned by Wayne Heisinga as well. That's where we were. Sold it, and it was bought and sold like three different times. The current owner is Joe Lewis. Joe Lewis, a British billionaire. The only thing open over here right now is the marina itself. Everything else shut down, even the restaurants here for the, all the renovations. Joe Lewis just bought the Aviva in here uh, a few days ago. The Aviva, one of three of Joe Lewis's Avivas. He has three of them because one's not enough. This is actually the small Aviva. He has one a little bit larger than this and then a great big one that takes up from the bow of that one all the way back behind the second boat about halfway down to the other boat. The big Aviva has a full-size tennis court inside. Hey, look straight to your right. See the place that's lit up on the walls there with the sun right now with a green roof? Strange character used to own that place. He had a yellow tinge to his skin, green blood, pointy ears, and was second in command on a ship. The ship he was second in command on the Starship Enterprise. That was Spock's house. Leonard Nimoy used to have that as a vacation home. They filmed a lot of music videos over there. People like Usher, Kenny Chesney, Blake Shelton did music videos over there. Over to your right, the next canal coming up, you'll see a little white boat facing out. Look in front of it, the purple flowers on the bushes, the coconut trees, the white roof. Merv Griffin used to own that. Merv Griffin had a talk show, started Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. And by the way, ladies, Jeopardy was his wife's idea. She came up with the game. Next to Merv's house, there is a yellow house with a double white roof. Those are the Comptons. The Comptons invented Alka-Seltzer. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. 
Now you know where he lives. Over to the left, you'll see the downtown skyline of Fort Lauderdale. Unfortunately, the sun went in on this trip. It was nice and sunny earlier. Look over to your right. See the house with the phone number on the dock, the arches? Tom Bodette of Motel 6. He'll leave the light on for you over there. Next to Tom's house, you see the White House right there? They just built that one. Before that house was there, there was a house there from the 60s. That's where Sonny and Cher's house was. And up on the corner, you'll see the flagpole, the green place right there. Seagram 7 Whiskey People. Right along here, you got a whole night of fun lined up. Go to a concert, get some drinks, stay in a motel. In the morning, recover with some alcohol. <laughs> Over to your right, past these houses, you can't see them from the boat because they're inland a little bit. But we got a few stars that have vacation homes over there. Huey Lewis, Reese Witherspoon, Gene Hackman, and David Copperfield all have places back there. All right, coming up in just a few minutes, we'll be at Wendy's house. He used to work for Colonel Sanders of Kentucky Fried Chicken back in the old days, dreaming of his own restaurants. Later, with some help from Colonel Sanders, he got to start Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers named after Wendy. Look at the little square house over there, like this hamburgers. Wendy's not there much. She's usually there only between Christmas and New Year's. You know who has the best deal around town here? Are the housekeepers. They're there all the time, all these places. <laughs> Look over to the right. You see the yellow place next to Wendy's? That place belongs to Andrew Heller, a venture capitalist. Moved in about seven years ago. Before that, a plastic surgeon owned the house. A lot of his work used to run around the beaches here in South Florida. Some of them graduated to Hooters. Look over the main doorway, there's a window up top. There's a mirror reflecting back at you. Next to Johnny's house, you'll see the house with the barrel tile roof and the towers on top, built by the founders of LA Fitness. And just past that, a couple houses down, you'll see the Miami Vice house coming up. Almost see Crockett and Tubbs, where you see the boat and the statues, the white place with the dark tinted windows. It's owned by producer of the show, Michael Mann. Look at the center window, you'll see a motorcycle bar. And just to the uh, left of that, the next window, you'll see a white baby grand piano inside there. And as soon as we pass the boat, check out the pool. The pool starts outside. Then look back to the center of the house. There's a gate. Lift up that gate. The pool goes right on into the living room. Miami Vice House. Off to your right. Get your cameras ready because this place on the corner belongs to Tom Cruise. Once you get that picture, let me tell you how to label that thing. That would be Tom Cruise with a K. He's the guy who invented the hover around scooter. It's also the house they filmed the uh, Any Given Sunday movie. At. Next to that, over here on your right, you'll see the white place with the chimney coming up. Used to be a different house on that property for many years. That's where Lucy and Desi Arnaz had a house. And then to your right, you'll see an empty lot coming up, just green grass. Anybody know Scotty Pittman? Chicago Bulls, a big old house over there. Right behind where they're building a house past the empty lot, look over top, you can see the top of his house, the barrel tile roof and the uh, yellow there. Now we're coming up to Bahia Mar. Bahia Mar translated means Ocean Bay. This is kind of like an Ocean Bay, even though we're still on the intercoastal waterway. We're just on the inside of the beach here. Now, Bahia Mar is the largest location for the largest boat show in the world every year around Halloween weekend. Carrie B is one of the large ferries that bring people from downtown to the boat show back and forth. They might wonder how it's the biggest boat show in the world. Well, they tell all these boats they got to go. Then, they also use the north end of the marina as well. But these boats go, and where we are, there'll be temporary pilings put out here. There'll be super yachts lined up east and west from here all the way down to the bridge we'll see in a little bit later. Now this guy with the boat W over here to our right, he kind of ticks me off a little bit. This is something we should have thought of. This guy is a recent billionaire. Guess what his idea is? Sell some floor mats. You've seen the commercials. Weather tech floor mats. Yeah, he's a billionaire now. Bought this boat recently, it's used. He bought it for $80 million. By the way, if you'd like to dock your boat here at Bahia Mar, one of the world's most famous yachting centers, you can for $8 a night. If your yacht was 12 inches long. 
because it's eight dollars per foot per night does not include electric or water by the way sometimes the carry via pull in here at night and pick up charters from these hotels that want to do a big charter this is how much they charge this boat they'll pull in we'll pull in here and it'll be between seven and eight hundred dollars just to pull in pick up and leave not even to stay just the other day we had ron howard's boat the imagine sitting here it, it left two days ago it's kind of empty here today over to the right again ahead of us another classic yacht this yacht also built by fed ship top of the line yacht builder that the aquarius was built by as well same builder here uh, the archimedes coming up archimedes owned by gene simmons this big blue and white boat here gene simmons boat not gene simmons with the guitar and the tongue this is Gene Simmons, the hedge fund manager. Gene Simmons considered the modern day Howard Hughes. Very reclusive, very rich. Notice everything's blocked out on the boat there. Can't see in any windows, ever. Now sometimes here at the north end of the marina we'll have a small pirate ship with about 30 40 kids that'll come out sometimes they attack us it's pretty fun we'll see if they come out this time now ahead of the anastar here we've got a very classic old yacht it's not a very big yacht but it's a classic old yacht it's called blue guitar and it says london on the back of it eric clapton's classic yacht over there right at the front of the Anastar, right here, a little yacht sitting in there. See the blue guitar? Yeah. Off to your right, a lot of people say, what is that thing in the sky? That's actually the uh, new dive platform for the International Swimming Hall of Fame over there, spending about $22 million to renovate the place that's part of it. Anybody see that movie with Rodney Dangerfield, Back to School? Yeah. I bet he could do the triple Lindy off of that. <laughs> there comes the butterfly house. Two towers on top are the uh, elevator shafts, two elevators. The antenna part of the butterfly are the staircases that come down. Look under those staircases. There's parking down there for ten vehicles and two stretch limos. I don't know about you guys, but that's always been the problem in my house, getting that second stretch limo. Around. That sits in a community called Idlewild. Idlewild, the first upscale community here in Fort Lauderdale. Hey guys, remember our friend David over here with the floor mats? Okay, it gets better. It gets better. Look over to your right. See the purple flowers on the bushes? That's his new place. Now he can stay here and look at his book. Floor mats. Floor mats. I got a new company I'm thinking of starting. You heard of weather tech? Plunger tech. They're going to be fancy. <laughs> Don't steal that. Next thing I know, next week you guys will have a plunger tech thing going. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Back in the 80s, it was the cocaine cowboys running around all over South Florida. Before that, it was the Rum Runners. I'm going to show you a Rum Runners house. Here comes marker 14, just past that. Look to your right. You're going to see a big, round, bushy tree. As we get up just a little bit more, you'll see the roots coming down from the tree. That's a big banyan tree over there. Now look to the right of the roots. You'll see a great big giant house back there. Old Rum Runner's house. Must have made a lot of money on rum running. See that big old house there? Now, that's only part of the house. The other part is right here by the water. This is the other part. There's a big covered walkway between the two sections. But what people didn't know in the early 1900s is that there's actually tunnels under there that they hid the rum in. This place currently owned by Mike Maroney, Maroney Car Dealerships, sold those to Wayne Heisinger. They became a part of Auto Nation. Mike hired, or Wayne hired Mike as his general manager. 
just recently retired. Coming up ahead to the right, you'll see the gazebo on the corner here. Iconic house here in Fort Lauderdale. This place originally built and lived in by the Anheuser-Busch family. See those little lights by the water? You know what we call those? Bud lights. This is actually where they filmed the movie Where the Bo I'm sorry, yes, Where the Boys Are. Connie Francis and George Hamilton. Back in 1960, Where the Boys Are. This is where spring break started, right at that pool. Now, in just about five minutes, we'll be re-entering the New River. I'll tell you the story of the New River. Seminole Indian legend says that the New River popped up overnight. It was a night of heavy rain, shaky ground, strong wind. The next morning, the Indians got up to head off to the hunting grounds, couldn't get there, river in the way. Scientists say what probably happened was an earthquake. The roof of an ancient underground river collapsed to form the New River of today. Back then, they say the water was crystal clear water. You can see schools of sharks, turtles swimming up and down the river. That was before the early 1900s when Governor Napoleon Broward's plan, believe it or not, was to drain the Everglades and create fertile farmland out west. He tried for 10 years to drain the Everglades, never got the job done, but he did manage to connect the crystal clear New River to the Everglades, which permanently turned the water this color from mixing with the black waters rolling out of the Everglades. It's not pollution, it's actually tannin in the water almost like tea because it's the rotting vegetation out there. Mixes with the ocean water out here and uh, turns everything this color. Now, Fort Lauderdale is the Venice of America, over 300 miles of waterway, all inside the city limits. Back in the early 1900s, this was all swamp land. They actually dug out these canals. You can tell the man-made from the natural, the natural curves, man-made goes straight off of these and on up the river here. Now, these places were dredged out. All the land was put up on these peninsulas, so they reclaimed the swamp land here. Now, believe it or not, back in the early days, some of this property, they were trying to get rid of it. In the beginning, selling some of it for a dollar an acre. Now, we're back at the Triangle. If we went on the South Channel, we'd head down to Miami and Key West that way, but we're going to go straight on the North Channel here, right on into downtown Fort Lauderdale. There must be a lot of money in pet stores. Here's another one off to the right. These people are the founders and owners of Petco, where the pets go. They've got two dogs that live over there. Not sure if they realize their mom and dad. There's one of them. Not sure if their mom and dad, uh, they know their mom and dad. Oh, there's the other one, the little one. Yeah, they're there. Their mom and dad owe the pet stores. And off to the right next to Petco, you got this place with the barrel tower roof. Oh, check it out. There's a crocodile on the rocks right there in the middle. See him up there? He's not moving a whole lot. That's actually a logo from a shirt. It's been there 30 years. That's actually the logo for the Lacoste people. They used to own that house. When they moved out, the Otis Elevator people moved in, left the logo right there on the rocks. Over to your right, we got two shade trees on the corners here. Soon they're going to be bright red with beautiful flowers. Royal Point Sienna trees over there on the corner. And the tall trees back there, coconut palms. A lot of people say, I don't see any coconuts. Well, that's because they cut them off because at that height, if they fell on your head, they actually might kill you. So they cut them off. Off to your right, this house here, building. Used to be a different house on this property. That's where uh, Lee Majors, remember the $6 million man? That's where he and Farrah Fer uh, Fawcett had a house when they were married. Now they had to knock it down though, it had major faucet problems. Look at these beautiful houses here. Look at those four palm trees right there in the front. Look how nice that looks with those four palm trees well placed like that. The hot tub right there. This one here, the tree, it's just because we're in February, so that all the leaves have fallen from the tree. Here's a place for sale too. See the swan in the background there. See the, the water jets for the pool. You guys look, Chad Carroll, Compass, the Carroll Group. You guys, I'll look to see if I can find what the price is on this place right here. 
See, we're pulling in here to the canal right here. See how the canals are all over the place here? Look at this nice place here. You see the pool over there. Nice land. Look at all, almost like a golf green. They even got their trampoline for the kids right there. Even when you're a gazillionaire, you still need a trampoline for the kids. See some of these places look like older homes. Go look over on the other side here. Look at this nice big boat here, all covered up. Must be nobody's around. These places are only used once in a while. So you can see the street in the background. Another place for sale. Right. Oh no, it's the same place that we came around. They're on a corner. That's why it's the same place. See that right there is where they can put the jet skis. Right there, that's for the jet skis. Oh, look at this piece of land here. It's a big piece of land. Oh, what is this? Some kind of a church. Look at this. A church. No taxes to pay. Hey, a church. All Saints Church. It's Picoso Pole. Look at this place here. Look at that infinity pool right there. Look at that infinity pool. Jet skis are over on the side. Look all windows. Three stories. Here, another one. Oh, that's not even real grass. That's fake grass. Look at that. Hey, you don't have no upkeep on the lawn. Just have to do your trees. Oh, look at this beautiful, beautiful place here. And hey, with your pool, got your living space outside, lights are on. Got the, the pontoon boat there. These beautiful little places, eh? and they all have their own little pool. We got a water taxi boat behind us here. Got some people having lunch there, see? Under the gazebo right there. Isn't that nice? Their boats right here. Look at the beautiful flowers, the palm trees. I'm just talking, looking at these places because the guy is done talking, done giving the tour, so. Get you guys some stuff in here. Look at this, this must be some old condos. An old condo complex here. Yeah, an old condo complex. Got the guy cleaning it up. Passing the broom. Look at that, passing the broom. Water taxi right here. A lot of water taxis, one here. See how the people are getting on in the front? It pulls up. Another one right here behind us. See that right there? See how it pulls up? <laughs> See how it pulls up, see how everyone gets on it. They get on in the front, they get on the boat, then they're going to wherever they're going, they could be going anywhere. People are very friendly on the boat, on the water. Everyone always waves. I don't know what this is here, if this is some kind of a condo complex. Oh, we're coming in here into the canal. I think this is where we were. I think that big building we see right there is where we parked these smaller places here. Yeah, this is, see there's that boat again. This is where we came, came out of. We were in here, we drove out. I'll go up to the front. Don't forget you guys, eh? Like and subscribe. Try to get this channel going here. I'll try to get the talk over this music here. So we don't get demonetized, but don't matter to get demonetized, we don't have enough people anyways. We just enjoy doing these videos. Look at this, got a restaurant right here. 
So you got a beautiful little restaurant right here. Look at that. Look at the people are there. Look at these nice big boats. I mean, just these boats here must be 50 feet long. Look, somebody's birthday. Happy birthday. Love life, Fort Lauderdale. Look at this nice boat here. People walking along here. This is where we came in. This is where we're going to park in front of this big building. Like I said, this big building right here. I'll write here, I'll write here and tell you guys how much these condos start at. The one that's in front of us. 401, 411, Los, what was it called? Los? Las Olas. Las Olas. I'll write to tell you a starting price for these places. Beautiful place down here. They really did something nice. Look at the people sitting along here. Got a skateboard. Got a little place where you can eat right here. Look at that. This is where the boat comes in. Right here. So when you do come here, you're going to end up parking probably over in the green building over there. And you're going to walk over along here. And the, there's always somebody here to greet you. The guy's right under here. He'll greet you for the Kerry B. Kerry B tour. I can't say enough about this tour. It's a great tour. Great tour. Never been on the, the other one, but this one here, great tour. Only good things to say about it. If you look at it online, what the people have said, all good, it's really worth it. For the price this cost, it's really worth it. All right, you guys, don't forget, like and subscribe. See you in the next video.